Hello and welcome to Tomato Clinic, a uh, another cute little visual novel from Ichio, developed by NPCKC, and I think it's about um, donating blood in a vampire clinic. I think something about vampires. Something about vampires. So let's just get started. We. It's funny though. I remember. Uh, playing one of NPC Casey's games. I involved like a tomato clicker, you know? Now this is a tomato clinic. Okay, so you can, you can be someone. Wow, custom character, amazing. Custom character. Uh, okay. You can like... Uh, I don't know, just make a random person. Tomato clinic tour. Looking forward to learning about vampires. You can't change that though. You can change hair. Not much hair differences, though. Uh, you know what? Just just like default character. I think, well, she, to me, it looks like a girl. So I put she. Why not? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It can be anything you want. It can be anything you want. I'll just choose that. Lum. Lum. I'll put, you know, just normal default name. Can I, like... Is that, it's in the thing now. I can't... Okay. Anyway. Tomato Clinic Tour. Sure. Lum. You can change pronouns at any time. Amazing. Lum. Lum. Fills out a form with a smile. There. Got the form all filled out. I really should have got that done before actually coming here. Looks like nobody else is here yet though, so I'm safe. Okay. I don't, exa I don't know exactly what this is about anyway. It's weird that there aren't any employees here yet though. Wouldn't it be rude to just yell this evening buzz in? I mean, if nobody's here, then nobody will think it's rude, right? Hello? Anyone in? A short young man who looks distinctively displeased comes to the counter. He's wearing a jacket with what looks like a tomato patch sewed into it. Or sewed? No, sound. Sewed. Sewed into it. I don't know why I, I always mix up sew and sound for some reason. Or so, 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 so. Who are you and why are you yelling? Yeah, sorry. I didn't think anyone was in. And why the heck did you yell? <laughs> oh, he's, he's about to say hell, you know? But he says heck instead, trying not to swear. You get demonetized on YouTube if you do that. Which doesn't really matter to me, but anyway. I don't know, I get nervous in unfamiliar situations. Wait, what? I'm Lum, here for the tour. This is Tomato Clinic, right? I do like the, the expressions that the default character makes, the player character. Oh, heck, is that today? What, don't tell me I got the date wrong. I'm so sorry, I'll come back later, or never if that'd be better. Just calm down for a sec. Let me check the calendar. Oh, it does start today. Ooh, I was worried I screwed that up. I didn't see any other students here, so I thought I maybe I had the wrong place. That's because you're the only one who signed up. No. Oh. Wait, you're not joking? Uh, no, it's just you. Marie said he didn't. we didn't get any other applications. Who's Marie? My boss. She should be here any minute. A young woman in a shirt that also has a tomato patch on it suddenly jumps out. There's Marie. Welcome. You must be here for the tour. Where'd you come from? Boss, you're gonna scare away our only applicant if you keep jumping out like that. It's as if you're a vampire or something with your fang. I'm just trying to be friendly. Oh wait, I forgot to ask. Do you have your application form? Yes, right here. Mm-hmm, so your name's Lum. Yes, that's me. Cool, my name's Marie. Nice to meet you. Gakuto, did you introduce yourself yet? I would have, but you decided to jump attack jump attack me. <laughs> jump attack. Gakuto, that's no excuse to be rude. Uh, name's Gakuto. Is that Gakuto? Gakuto. Nice to meet you, I guess. It's nice to meet both of you. I'm excited to be here. She's Lum is just excited to be here. You know what we do here then? I did some research ahead of time, but there wasn't too much on the website. It's a blood donation clinic, right? God. Gakuto. Gosh darn it. Why would you come for a tour if the idea makes you uncomfortable? Yes, this is a blood donation clinic. Yes, both me and Marie are vampires. 
got a problem with that. Reminds me of, uh, well, I mean, there's a lot, I feel like there's a lot of, um, anime and manga, particularly about vampires, but not like in a villainous sense, like they're not supposed to be villains, but rather they're just represented as if they're just, a, 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 like, a, like normal people, you know, <laughs> or whatever. I think there's one manga, what was it called? I think it was called Orange Marmalade that I read before. It was kind of all about that, you know, how like vampires trying to fit in society, but anyway. No, I just haven't been to a place like this before. I'm a bit nervous, that's all. Gakuto, don't be so mean. And don't worry about that, Lum. We're pretty new to this, too. Actually, you're our very first Tori, you're tourist? That was that supposed to be reassuring. Anyone. No point in talking out here. Let's head outside so we can talk a bit more about what we, what we do. Or, what's that? What's weird? That was a weird sentence about it. Anyone? Or any way? Or anyone? Is it any way or anyone? Follow me! Peace. Marie disappears as quickly as she came. You can put your backpack down behind the concert if you don't want to carry it. Oh, that'll be... Before Lum can finish, Gakuto leaves as well. <laughs> okay. Great. Thanks. I guess I should follow them in. Wee. Lum heads into the next room, but for some reason it's empty. It looks like a little cafe. Huh? Where are they? Oop. Marie jumps out with a grin on her face. So, what do you think? Get, get, what do we think of what? This room. Oh, um, it's very nice. It feels kind of homey. It's a bit different than what I expected, though. Different? Well, it looks kind of like a cafe. Oh, that's because it is a cafe. Huh? I thought this was a blood donation clinic. It is, but also functions as a cafe. When I started this place, my goal was to make it a place where people can relax. Blood donations sound really scary, right? Adding vampires just make it say, uh, makes it scarier. What? No, that's not. It's okay. I know most humans are afraid of us. That's part of why I started this place. I want to make a place where humans could get to understand vampires a bit better. And that's why I prepared... This! What is it? Now, what is, what is this? A quiz on vampires. It's very short, so don't worry, and it's okay if you get things wrong. We just want to check what people's general knowledge of vampires is. Just shout my name when you're done. Marie disappears as suddenly as she arrived. Where'd she go? I guess I should just fill out this quiz, though. It doesn't look too long, so I should be okay. Quiz time. Let's see. Oh, nice. Multiple choice. I always prefer multiple choice questions. I don't know. Where do vampires get most of their nutrition? Blood, red meat, or a variety of food sources? Um, I mean, going—I mean, going by the stereotypes. I don't know if uh, this game is uh, baiting me, but uh, by you know, I mean, it depends on the setting, I guess. But you would think blood, right? So I'll choose that. I'll just be the ignorant person and say blood. I don't know. Blood, obviously. Not sure why this is even a question. Let's check out the next question. What happens to vampires when exposed to sunlight? They turn into dust. I mean, I've definitely read that before in the book, so it's probably true. Let's take a look at the next one. What do you use to ward off vampires? The cross, cloves of garlic. Well, actually, depend, again, depends on the setting. Sometimes none of them works, actually. It's just like you try to throw some garlic at the vampire, and the vampire laughs at you, and then they murder you. So like, it doesn't work either way. None of the above. Feels like the other answers are too cheesy to be true. So this should be the right one. Hmm, I'm not sure about my answer. No point worrying about it though, I guess. On to the next question. Where do vampires sleep? Coffins, obviously. This feels like it should be the right answer, but is it a bit too obvious? Ah, looks like the next question is the last one. What can vampires turn into? Mist. The last option's tone is kind of different, but I know I've read before somewhere that vampires can turn to mist. I mean, that's what Marie's been doing, right? And that's how she's been teleporting, right? <laughs> anyway, that's all the questions. I should call for... What was her name again? Uh, Marie. Well, Marie pops up from who, who knows her. It's gotta be mist. This is how she's teleporting, right? Are you finished, Lum? Yeah. I mean, yes, I'm finished. Great. Just let me check your answers then. Hmm. 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 
So, how'd I do? Why don't we go through the questions together? You got the first one right. We do get most of our nutrition from blood. If it's okay for me to ask, how does it work exactly? Hmm, maybe a really lengthy explanation if I get too into it. Like, think of it how you eat food and your body turns that into energy for you. Right. For us, we do the same, just with blood. While we can eat regular food too, we don't process it well. It's kind of like junk food to us. Oh, so it doesn't really give you the nutrition you need. Exactly! I'm glad you get it. So, for the question two... Hmm, you don't turn into dust in the sun. That will be really inconvenient. Of course, sorry, that was stupid of me. I wouldn't say stupid, but maybe a bit silly. You can't believe everything you read in books. We vampires get sunburns when in the sun too long. How long is too long? Well, it depends on the vampire. Most of us will get bad sunburns in less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. Do you just stay inside all the time? Nah, we just use sunscreen with very high SPF. And make sure to cover our screen as much as possible when heading out in the day. All of the windows at the tomato clinic are especially made to cut UV too. This way we can enjoy the daylight without sunburns. I thought vampires liked the night. Oh no, we were just forced to only go out the night before. Now we have modern technology to help us. Amazing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right? Let's look at the next question then. Dang, that two you got right so far. Amazing. The answer to what you use to ward off vampires is... None of the above. There's no one thing you can use to ward off away vampires. Like how there's no one thing you can use to ward off away humans. And why do people think... Well, that stuff like a cross and a garlic will work? I think it's just one of those weird urban legends. After all, it's very easy to come up with things like that like this. If you don't know any vampires in real life. Huh. Maybe on to the sleeping question. <laughs> I said a coffin. I don't know. Do you ever think we sleep in coffins? Sorry, I don't know. I just... Oh, it's okay. I know people think that. It's not true, though. We vampires just sleep in beds. Coffin beds? Vampires get aches and pains just like humans, so honestly, coffins would be pretty uncomfortable. I don't know. I guess if you're, like, um... Claustrophobic. But it could be made pretty comfortable. I don't know. Anyway, I guess that's true. Now for the last question. We can't actually turn to miss. Oh, that's too bad. Oh yeah, I wasn't sure about this one. It's a bit weird to even think about us turning to a mist. How would that work? Will we turn to water? If it was cold out, we would freeze in the ice cubes. I'm really not sure who came up with this one. We actually can't turn to anything. Yeah, I guess it was kind of a stupid question. No question or stupid. But the quiz said... Oh, that was just Gakuto. I think he was annoyed. He thought the quiz was sort of a stupid idea. I think it's a nice way of teaching people about vampires, though. What do you think is our first human quiz taker? I thought it was nice. Uh, I thought it was nice. It helped correct a lot of my assumptions. I'm glad. I'll be sure to let Gakudo know too. I asked him to write the questions, and he was very annoyed about it. I'm sure he'll be happy to know his work was worthwhile. Well, he he didn't seem very cheerful earlier. Oh, that's just how he is. Don't worry. Anyway, let's check your score. You got two out of five questions right. Well, you failed. You failed. Time to be the next victim of our vampire dinner. Oh, that's worse than I thought. Don't look so glum. That's almost half. I'll give you a chance to try again later, too. Hopefully, you'll remember the answers next time. Now that we've got our icebreaker done, though, or though we can start one of our vampire culture experiences. What? For the tour. You didn't think it was going to be all quizzes, did you? Honestly, I wasn't really sure what I signed up for. Well, soon you can find out. We've got a lot of fun activities set up for you. Or Kakuto has, at least. I'll go get him. Marie runs off through a different door. Marie seems very energetic. It's nice. This whole place is pretty nice, actually. The decor is cute and the general atmosphere is relaxing. Why, well, do you expect it all to be red, satin, and bats? Yakuto shows up, looking just as displeased as earlier. No, I... Then what were you expecting? I... Well, maybe I was kind of expecting something like that. With more can candles and chandeliers, maybe. Chandeliers? We're vampires, not Victorians. Sorry, it's just when I see vampires in the media. Yeah, I know. Sorry to bite your head off. Ah, <laughs> bite your head off. Uh, bigger speech. I know there's a lot of weird stereotypes about us. That's why Marie set this clinic up and why I'm helping out. That's really nice of you. Uh, yeah, sure. How'd the quiz go, anyway? I got per I did okay. I did okay. Okay. Well, I didn't do great. But I'll be sure to do better next time. 
Well, good luck with that. Anyway, I'm supposed to be your tour guide. First up on the activity list is, uh... The Vampire's Sunscreen Routine. And Marie suddenly pops up to Gakudo's right. Ah! What? And she disappears again. Are you sure she doesn't turn to miss? I don't know. Is that some kind of vampire talent? What? Oh, you mean how Marie just appears out of nowhere? I wish. That's just a Marie thing. Anyway, as Marie said, our first activity is a common part of the vampire's usual morning routine. While we like to go through the whole morning, we're currently a bit understaffed, as you can see. So, we only have the sunscreen bit set up so far. Sunscreen? Well, as Marie told you earlier, vampires sunburn very easily. So, we're very careful about applying sunscreen. So how is this supposed to work? Am I supposed to put sunscreen on you? <laughs> well, what? No, that'd be weird. It's like fan service and like a beach episode of an anime. We have a dummy for this. We're not using actual sunscreen. Let me just set it up. Gotta stand up right. Make sure it's secured. Okay. Um, is that supposed to be a vampire? A pretend one. There are a bunch of clothes for you to choose from. Uh, the goal is to pick an outfit appropriate for a vampire. Then you put sunscreen on. Or well, fake sunscreen since our dummy's made of whiteboard. Just use this white yellow marker to apply the sunscreen. Then I'll let you know how well your vampire outfit will fare in the sun. Sound good? Sure. Sounds fun. I'm ready to start. Just stick on the fake clothes and the sunscreen and let me know when you're done. Got it. Okay. You can choose an outfit. Choose nothing. Okay. And then they burn in the sun. Choose an outfit. This is just... This is like uh, your typical... Dress up your paper doll, you know. <laughs> you can do that. I mean, you don't have to, I guess. You can do that. Boots. Straw hat, sunglasses, oh yeah, top hat. Sunglasses. Well, you should probably at least wear something. You know what, wear a fancy, you can be, be full vampire, I guess. Full vampire. Yeah, full vampire. Uh, you know what, full vampire, but with like a shirt. That works. Mm. Oh, you have to apply sunscreen though. Click the button to apply sunscreen. Eh. 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 Do I just like choose the amount? How's that work? Like this? <laughs> you choose the amount of sunscreen to put on? It's very yellow. This is a yellow marker though. Eh. Eh. Face. So much sunscreen. Well, I put a little bit. Not a lot. Like, you know, just a little, just a little bit. Like Seth. Now, now he's such a, a Simpsons character, is what he is. Maybe a little bit more. Just in case. Like that. Would that be good? I don't know, it looks silly. Sure. Yes. I think this should be okay. Hey, uh, Gakuto. Gakuto returns to the room. You done? I think so. Will you take a look? Okay. Hmm. Well, first the outfit. You gave them something to cover up their eyes, which is good. You can use sunscreen on skin, but it's hard to protect your eyes. But the sunscreen, though. You didn't put on enough sunscreen. I didn't. It's actually a pretty common mistake for humans, too. You have to use a lot of sunscreen for it to actually be effective. If you don't put it on thickly and evenly, it burns. Oh, I didn't know that. I never thought about how much sunscreen you're supposed to put on. I usually just put on a little of any at all. Well, that's because you can get away with it. Humans don't usually sunburn as badly as vampires do. If we're not careful about our sunscreen, though, well, let's just say that sunburns can hurt a lot. I'll bet. Anyway, that was the activity. The idea was to give you a little idea of what a vampire goes through, as a way of say, hey, we're just normal people trying to live our lives. It's kind of more boring than I expected. I always thought vampires are more, I don't know, sexy or scary or both. Sure, that's how we're often portrayed in media, but most of us are just boring people who buy a lot of sunscreen. Yes. Now, at least the sunscreen industry is profiting from this. Big sunscreen. Uh, hmm. Well, thanks for telling me about this. I never really thought about it before. Just doing my job. Anyway, I need to prep for the next activity. Wait here for a bit. Gakudo walks out of the room, taking the dummy with him. I guess I'll do what Gakudo said. I will now wait. But before Loom gets any time to wait, Marie shows up again. 
How was the activity? Yeah. Uh, what? Sorry. Uh, how'd you like the first activity? You know, the vampire sunscreen routine. Oh, that. Uh, it was pretty interesting. Oh, I'm really glad. It took a lot of time cutting the whiteboard to the right size. You cut it yourself? Yep, we're pretty short on fun, so most of the stuff here is DIY. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, we try our best. Sorry, I got a bit off topic. I'm actually here because it's time to duel. Uh, for requiz. Requiz. A chance for you to take our vampire quiz again. I think it should be pretty easy since you already know the answers now. You know what happens? I save. There's no. Oh, there's save right here. There's save right here. What happens if I intentionally fail? <laughs> you know, I don't know if you can do that. Uh, you already know answers now. I'll try my best. Here's a new sheet. Just let me know when you're done. Now to fail the quiz. Let's try this again. What if I just get everything wrong again? Um. Ah, you know, I'll just do it properly. Whatever. Probably she'll just say the same things, you know. It's like, oh, you got this wrong, actually. Blah, blah, blah. They get sunburns. None of the above. They don't sleep. No, they're in beds. And then nothing. Stupid question. This is a stupid question. I'm done. Marie, I finished the quiz. Wow. As soon as Lum calls out, Marie appears. That was fast. Let me see. Question one is correct. May source nutrition's blood. Let's check the next one. Correct. Boop. -doop. Got sunburns. Question three. There's nothing you can use to war of vampires. Rather just try to make friends with us. Let's take a look at question four. And your answer is correct. You need to sleep. What they do? They sleep in beds, not coffins. And for the last question, correct. Vampires can't really turn to anything. No bats, no miss. That would be interesting if we could. And that's a total score of five out of five. Perfect. For that, you get a prize. Amazing. A prize. Yep, here. It's a tomato. Or tomato pin, rather. But this, you're part of the Tomato Club. What's that? A club of vampires are friends. You're the third member. I hope you'll take your vampire knowledge and share it with your friends, too. I'll try and take you uh, thank you for the pin. Cool. I think Gakuto should be back soon anyway. So I'll leave you two to it. Amazing. We have a PhD in vampire knowledge. Marie walks out through one of the doors. Oh, she actually walked out normally this time. She can teleport. I guess I'll just wait for Gakuto to come back. I can take a look around here in the meantime. They have some interesting magazines. I had never seen most of these before. Vampire Weekly, Fang Outpost, Wired for Nights. Huh? Gakuto walks in and notices L Loom looking at the magazines. You can take a look at them if you want. Ah, uh, no, sorry, I was just... Like I said, feel free to take a look at them. They're there for visitors to look at, after all. Oh, okay. Maybe a bit later. Whatever. Do what you want. I have the next activity ready when you are, though. I am. Ready, that is. But what's the next activity? A backstage tour of sorts. I'm going to show you the process we go through before a blood donation. Oh, okay. We're going to be looking at blood and stuff. Are you going to be okay with this? Yes, I've, I've had experiences of taking blood tests before. Kind of weird the first time, but it's just blood, I guess. This is mad. It's just, you know, my, 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 like, tenth visit, or whatever, at that point, you're like, oh, yeah, it's just taking blood from my arms, like, whatever. It's just very casual about it. Having a casual conversation with the nurse while she's taking blood from your, from your veins at that point, you kind of get used to it, I don't know. Uh, yes, I will. You sure? I will. I was just caught off guard. Sorry, I really haven't done anything like this before. Yeah, I can get that. There's really nothing to be nervous about, though. Let me show you. This is, uh, that just reminds of Oddish, by the way. This thing here. Anyway. Gekudo takes Lum to a lounge area. This is where the blood donations happen. Oh, huh, it doesn't look very clinical. Yeah, Marie wanted all the rooms here to look as inviting as possible. To make sure people could feel comfortable. We visited a bunch of other clinics in the other areas before deciding on a look for a tomato clinic. It definitely makes me feel relaxed, at least. Yes, it was worth the work we put into it then. But, sorry, I didn't catch that. Uh, nothing. Anyway, let me explain the process. How much do you know about blood donation? Not very much, honestly. I've only ever had blood tests, and that's about it. Yeah, I, I mean, that's exactly, yeah, that's exactly... I'm exactly the same way. I only like the blood test. As far as I know, I think blood donations are a little bit more... Obviously, they're drawing way more blood than blood tests, so... Uh, it's a bit more, um... I guess... Energy? <laughs> Sapping, maybe? You know? I don't know. 
That's why they give you a cookie at the end, right? Because taking a lot of blood from you. Okay, then I'll start at the beginning. First off, just to clear any possible misunderstandings. Both Maria and I are certified to draw blood. All vampires working at donation clinics are required to be certified. For both the regular human method and the vampire assistant method. Hmm. Vampire assistant method, eh? Regular human method probably means using a needle, but... What's the vampire assisted method? I'm guessing you don't know much about vampire fangs, right? No, sorry. Well, you probably heard stupid stories about people getting pleasure from vampire advice. Yeah, I have. Well, that's not how it works. No. Our fangs have a substance which is natural and anesthetic with a calming effect. They're also very sharp and pointy, so the wound left behind is very small. At blood donation clinics, the process is simple. Bite, then draw. Huh? First, we bite to create a very small wound. Then we use a needle to draw out the blood. Oh, why not just slurp, slurp, slurp? <laughs> you use a needle in the first place? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking the other one. You know, I was thinking, just, why not just slurp it all up? But obviously, only one person would get blood in that case. Unfortunately, blood loses its nourishing qualities very quickly after leaving the body. That is, unless it is first stabilized by the substance in our fangs. But it would be easier to just bite and suck, for, uh, suck blood from the source. We can't expect a human to be always be available when a vampire gets hungry. That's where blood donation clinics come in. We draw blood and distribute it to vampires who need it. Oh, like vampire food bank. Or like a vampire food bank. Something like that, yeah. Everything makes sense so far? I think so. Before we actually draw blood though, we do a health check to make sure everything's okay. What kind of issues could there be? For example, maybe the person's blood is infected with something and they don't know. They might have recently taken medication to prevent them from donating. They might just be feeling sick and donating blood can make them feel worse. Hmm. Once we've confirmed that everything is okay, then we start the blood donation process. The human gets comfortable on the couch and the vampire takes their arm. Arm, not neck? Well, it's true that's easy to drink blood from the neck. Since we're drawing the blood out through needles, it's easy to do it through the arm. Like a regular blood donation. No, I guess that makes sense. One thing we make sure is very clear though, is that it's okay to stop at any time. We always want to make sure both the human and the vampire are comfortable with everything. So if the human feels uncomfortable, we call it off. Same for if the vampire feels uncomfortable. Maybe you start feeling dizzy during the donation. Or you just change your mind. You don't need a reason. If someone says stop, everything stops. But we'll even give you a button so you can press, just in case you're anxious about saying it out loud. Wow, you're really prepared. Well, we're asking people to give their blood to us. We want to make sure we have their complete consent. Anyway, that's the end of the presentation. Hopefully you've got a better idea of our blood donation process now. I think I do, thanks. Great. I'm gonna go back to the cafe area to prep for the last activity. Could you wait here until I'm done? Got it! Cool. Dakado leaves the lounge area. The blood donation process is a lot more complicated than I expected. I guess I should just wait here now though, until Marie... Whoop. Hello! Maria slides into the room. What? Well, there isn't even a door on that side of the room. Where on earth did you come from? Hmm, that's a secret. Technically, this time is scheduled for a quiz, but... Since you already passed the quiz, though, do you want to ask me some questions? Uh, questions. Hmm. Can you be turned... Oh, well, that's what I'm interested in. Can you... How do you turn into a vampire? How does that work in this fantasy setting that NPCKC has invented? Um, can people be turned to vampires? Nope, that's absolutely not possible, huh? Oh, sorry, I knew that already. That's what it says in the books I've read before. It's just... People still say that we can, right? Being a vampire isn't a disease, it's not contagious. We can't infect anyone with it. It's just one of those unfortunate myths that spread. Sorry for bringing it up. Don't apologize. I'll be... I'll happily answer any question like this if it means I can clear things up. Any more questions? How common are vampires? Compared to humans. It really depends, honestly. Vampires tend to live in small communities. Lately, though, you have more vampires like Akado and me moving to big cities and such. Now that humans know a bit more about vampires, it's easy for us to live among humans. Really? I've lived here my whole life, but I don't think I've seen more than a couple of vampires. I mean, you can't really tell what vampires at first glance, right? If we're not looking too closely, we really just look at like pale-skinned humans. Well, that's true. You might actually know a couple of vampires without knowing it. Oh no. I wonder if I do. Any other questions? Not right now. That's it, I guess. I'm okay for now, I think. Okay, then in that case, that's everything from me. Gekuda will let you know when he's ready, so just stay here. Yep. 
Reed disappears again, though in a different direction this time. I wonder if there are any secret passageways in this place. Nah, that'd be a bit much. I wonder how much longer Gakudo will be, though. As if on cue, Ga Gakudo comes in. Gakudo, Gakudo. Can we give it Gakudo? Gakudo. Hey, Lum, I'm done setting up. Let's go back to the cafe area. Gakudo leaves without waiting for a reply. I guess I should follow him. Uh, Lum goes to the cafe area, but it looks completely different. The room is dim, and the only source of light is a candle on the table. Wait, what? It didn't look like this before. I mean, I said it was prepping, right? But what is this for? It's a romantic dinner. No, uh, an old vampire tradition. A blood tasting. Hmm. Blood? I, uh, don't worry, I'm not actually gonna make you drink blood. We're doing a human-friendly version of tomato juice. Yes, that's why it's called Tomato Clinic. Uh, then what? It's like, humans have holidays, right? Yes. And for these holidays, you usually gather people together, right? Yeah, for family dinners and such. Well, vampires don't eat. Alright. So, what we usually do instead is have a blood tasting together. Humans share food. Vampires share blood. Food's a big part of human culture, right? I guess? Blood fills the same role in vampire culture. How is that? I'll explain. But first, I want to check that you're okay with doing this. We're not using real blood, but the idea is that we're going to pretend we are. Of course, even when we use actual blood, it's always blood that's drawn with consent. But if you don't want to do this activity, you don't have to. Are you cool with this? Okay. It seems like, I don't know, I guess at certain parts of the game, they definitely, uh, like, uh, make the player decide if they want to do something. Like, for example, I know, like, I imagine some people, for example, when they do the blood donation thing, maybe some people, you know, have a fear of needles, so they want to talk about it, so that's why there's that, I guess, warning. Like a content warning within the game, I guess. Whatever. Anyway. Um, I want to try. I want to see what this blood tasting is all about. If it's okay, I want to try. To be honest, I do feel a bit nervous. I don't think I've ever done anything like a blood tasting before. I'd still like to try, though, if it's okay. I came here to learn more about vampires, after all. If you let me participate in a bit of your culture, I'd really be happy. Sounds like we're okay, then. Now let me explain how blood tasting works. There are actually many different kinds, with different steps. The one we're doing today is for when one vampire invites another to their household. Is that also a stereotype? You know, you can't invite a, a vampire into your household unless you... Or rather, they, they can't come into your household unless you invite them or something? <laughs> anyway. It's meant to show hospitality as well as trust. Mm. Which well, kind of brings to mind, you know, this this whole thing kind of reminds me of another anime that involves vampires. I think it's called Shiki. I think I read the manga, but there's also an anime version. Um, that's, uh, let's just say a much more negative version of vampires, you know? But also humans, you know, you know it's funny, like, this this game, you know, it's always wholesome and cute. Uh, but Shiki actually puts humans and vampires in a very, like, uh, negative light, actually. They're both monsters. But anyway. Uh, sort of like serving drinks to guests at a party. Well, it's usually a bit more formal than that. There'll be a vessel filled with blood, in this case, tomato juice. The vampire who's hosting, in this case, me, pours a glass for the guests. And that'll be me. Yes, it's polite to serve the guests first. Next, the guests will return the favor and pour a glass for the host. The point is to show that they are honored to be a guest. Then, both parties will take a sip, but just a small one. Next, the vampires click their glasses together. Uh, they make a toast after they're already drunk? Well, the idea is that since they've already taken a sip, part of their self is left on the glass. And by clinking the glasses together, they're sharing that part of their self with the other party. Hmm. A blood tasting is usually done when somebody invites somebody over for the first time. It's a way of saying, I trust you with my home. Part of trusting somebody is entrusting them with yourself, so that's what a blood tasting is meant to show. That's really interesting. Finally, both vampires drink until the glass is empty without stopping. Just like, glug glug glug. Again, this is meant to show trust. Not emptying the glass will show hesitation to accept the other vampire's offer of trust. Wow, there's a lot of thought put into all these actions, huh? To be honest, I think most vampires don't really think that much about it. We just do blood tastings this way because that's how they've always been done. That sums up the steps, though. Are you ready to try? I think so. Okay, let's to the table, then. 
I'll pour you a glass. Okay, remember what to do next? Select the next step. Uh, pour a glass. Then you pour... Is it, well, well, this was weird. You pour it with, from your glass? How's that work? <laughs> you, should, you just, you just take the entire bottle and glug, glug, glug. Good job. The first step is returning the favor and pouring a glass for your host. Okay, remember what to do next? And then, uh, you take a, you take a bit of a sip, I guess. Right, we each take a sip from the glass. Next, what do we do? And we clink our glasses together. Yep, we clink the glasses out of a dress. Now, what do we do last? There you go, glug glug. You take the bottle for yourself. No, uh. Right, we down the rest of our glasses. And that's it, a vampire blood tasting. I wonder if that's modeled after some real tradition or real life. That obviously, it doesn't involve blood, but you know, maybe something, something in some other culture is kind of like that as well. You do exactly those steps. Like for, for like wine or something. I don't know. Uh, what did you think? Oh, thank you for doing this with me. I'm really glad I had the chance to experience it. But we used tomato juice, that was pretty exactly, or pretty much exactly how a blood tasting usually goes. I'm glad you seem to have enjoyed it. Ah, nothing. Hopefully that was uh, educational somewhere or another. Anyway, that's the last activity. Which means uh, this is the end of the tour. Oh, that was quick. Could you head to the reception? Marie should be waiting for you there. Okay, how about you, Kakuto? I'm just gonna clean this up first. Got it, I'll see you later. Loom heads back to the reception area. Hmm, Marie isn't here yet. Marie walks into the room. Hi, Loom. Hi, Marie. I came back here since the tour is over. Right, and thank you for taking part in our tour. You should have seen this as well when signing up, but... At the end, we have an optional blood donation. Oh, right, I remember seeing that. Of course, this is only if you want to. You'll also have to pass our health check first. They, both Kakudo and I, are available for blood donations. Just let me know if you'd like to donate. And if you would, who would you like to draw your blood? Hmm. No. No donation. Um. You know what? We, we've been spending a lot of time with Kakudo. How about, how about Marie? I draw you, I like you to draw my blood. Vampire. Vampire waifu. Anyway. If it's okay, could I ask you to draw my blood? It'll be my pleasure. Let me take you to the lounge then and we can get started. Marie takes Lum to the lounge area. I think I could already talk to you about this, but I'm going to explain again just in case. First, we're gonna start uh, gonna do the health check just to make sure everything's okay. Then we'll get you comfy on this couch. After that, I'll use my fangs on your arm to create a very tiny wound. And then I'll use a needle to draw out the blood. It'll take about 10 minutes to draw the blood out. 10 minutes? That's a lot. You know, that's actually a lot. Anyway, don't worry, I'll stay here until we're done. Also, one important thing. You can tell me to stop at any time at all. It doesn't matter when. If you want me to stop, I'll stop. Does that sound okay? Yep. If you want me to stop, just press the button. It'll give you a buzz and it'll stop right away. If you're ready, we can start with the health check. Okay. okay. Looks like you're in super good health. We're good to go. Are you okay? We started the blood. Don't press the button immediately. No, uh, yep. Let's start. Okay, could you sit down on the couch then? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now, could you give me your arm? I'm gonna, just gonna chop it off and... Uh, I'm just gonna use some antiseptic of your skin. Sorry if it tingles. Now I'm gonna use my fangs to make just a very little tiny bite. Say nothing. Uh, let me know right away if you wanna stop. No, nothing. The bite's done. Now I'm gonna put it in the needle. The needle will draw out the blood. Let me know if you want to stop. No, no, nothing. Okay, the deal's done too. Now we just have to wait for the blood to be drawn. Even though if this was a horror game... It's funny, like, do you want to continue? Do you want to progress? Are you really sure? You know, or something? Um... This is not a horror game. This is not a horror game. In fact, it's supposed to be like a anti-horror game, you know? It's about vampires, but it's a, like a... Like an inverse, you know? It's like the opposite of a horror game. Even though it's about vampires. Anyway. Now we just have to wait for the blood to be drawn. How are you feeling? A bit nervous, but okay. That pretty much sums up how I'm feeling. What are you nervous about, Marie? Well, honestly, I've never, I've been nervous all day that something could go wrong. It's our first time doing a tour for a human. We've done test tours with the vampires for practice, it was not the same. I'm really happy our first human tourist was you, though, Lum. Uh, why? 
because it seems like you really do want to learn more about vampires. Now why else would I have come here? Yeah, why, would I, why else would I have downloaded this game from Ichio? <laughs> well, you'd be surprised. We had some people sign up for the tour with obviously fake info. We obviously, obviously turned them away, but a lot of people aren't happy about a vampire blood clinic being in this part of the city. Hmm. I bet you were a bit unnerved when you first heard about it too. Sure. I mean, I don't know. Would I? Well, okay, trying to like imagine myself in this world where vampires are like in this society and you've never heard of a vampire clinic before or something. I don't know, I guess maybe a little bit. I think I was at least a little. I wasn't sure what a vampire blood clinic even was and I might have imagined something really stupid things. It's okay, love. You're here now, right? You're proof that there are humans who are okay with vampires. And I think there's a lot more out there. Hmm, a lot more out there. Sure, we received quite a handful of threats in the mail too, but <laughs> hate mail. There's been a lot of people who just come by to take a look at our brochures too. Why are you so cheerful about it? Well, we have to start somewhere, right? A couple years back, we wouldn't have been able to open this place at all. Slowly but surely though, more humans are learning more about vampires and acceptance is spreading. Everyone has to start off somewhere, right? If someone is misinformed about vampires, I want to give them a chance to be informed. That's why you came here, right? Because you didn't know too much about vampires, but you wanted to know more. That's true. I'm just hoping I'll get to meet a lot more people like you, Lum. I hope I c you can too. And all our blood was drawn and then we died from anemia. Uh, and we're done! And that's the end of the Blood Note Nation. Huh, already? Where is my free cookie? I guess maybe free tomato? Uh, yep, we're done. Finish, all clear. Here's some chocolate juice for some energy. Yes, delicious. So well, actually, I don't like chocolate all that much. I don't like, actually, I don't like sugary stuff all that much in real life, but anyway. When you finish them, come to the front. Marie leaves the room. Huh, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I even got chocolate out of it. I guess I should eat this and then go to the front. When Lum goes to the front of the cafe, Marie is already there waiting. Hi, Lum. Hi, Marie. Now that the blood donation is over, the tour is officially finished. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you for doing this tour. I think I learned a lot. That's great. I'm really glad you think so. We're going to be doing a lot more activities in the future, so definitely come back again to see what we're up to. I will. Here's a little tote bag with brochures and stuff. I think you'll find them pretty interesting. I'll make sure to check them out when we get home. Or when I get home. Remember, you're a member of our tomato club now. You'll always be welcome here if you want to visit. I'll try to visit soon. I bet there's still a lot more I can learn. I'll make sure to have more stuff ready soon then. If there's anything in particular you'd like to learn about, just tell me. Okay, I'll think about it and let you know. Cool. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for playing. Yeah. This is very just just a educational game about vampires. They're peaceful vampires, you know. Not the, you know, the the type of vampires that murder you and eat your neck. This is just a very, you know, just a wholesome, cute little game uh, by NPC KC. Well, yeah, I guess that's it. That's it for Tomato Clinic. Just did a little tour about vampires. Yeah, sure. You know, I, I don't know. It's just it's just very educational. It's just meant to be very educational. I do like um. I do like the small gameplay sections, even as as small as it is. It's a very short game, but as small and little as it is, I do appreciate the fact when you add anything, like any kind of like mini game that actually is part of the actual story, that is actually congruent with what's going on. Just that is enough to say that uh, I got engaged. I guess you know, because a lot of visual novels, they're not a bad thing, but by default, you know, by default, a lot of visual novels are just just reading, right? I mean, that's part of part of it, but. I do like uh, interactive visual novels. Because it reminds, again, it reminds me of my favorite games like Dong and Rope and Phoenix Wright. But obviously, this is just like a small game, though. It's not as involved as that, but still, I do appreciate it. I know vampires will starve. <laughs> you know, vampires will starve. It's the pandemic going on right now. Oh no. Oh well. Oh, that's why you gotta donate to the tomato clinic. You gotta join the tomato club and give blood to vampires. Uh, but not in real life, though, because no vampires in real life. Or, 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 or is there? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> But anyway, all right. Um, but yeah. Again, that was it for Tomato Clinic. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time. See you then. <laughs>